Today we're going to do our first vlog or video log and what I wanted to do is come up with an idea which I could communicate with you and I couldn't find exactly where else to put it on my website. Um, what we're going to talk about today is left and right brains, okay, and what the importance of having both sides of the brains working when you're doing cosmetic surgery. I go to a lot of meetings, about 14 meetings a year, most of which I lecture at, and I look at some of my colleagues' work, and I'm not being critical of their work, but I look at it and technically it's better. But there isn't a wow effect. There is an effect where you go and go, wow, that person look, looks better. And I think part of the reason for that is that most surgeons are very left brain dominant. And I listen to the way they talk. They talk about how they put a stitch in and the angle and the pull and this. And all that is fantastic. It's important. If you're not te technically precise, you're not going to get a good outcome. But the problem, what I think they don't have, a lot of surgeons when they're working, is the artistry of taking a step back out and looking at the patient's face and the hair, the nose, or whatever they're working on from a right-sided brain. And what does a right brain in this mean? It means an aesthetic impact of looking at the whole what you're trying to achieve. And a lot of times you've got to start switching between both sides of the brain. When I start working, for example, with a rhinoplasty, I have a very detailed game plan of what I'm going to do. In fact, I've got three backup game plans of what I want. And that's starting with my left brain. How am I going to get there? And I come back to my right brain and go, what's the impact that I've just made with that move? I do the move. I go, that's not quite right because aesthetically it's not where I wanted to go. So I go back to my left brain, think back how technically I'm going to go to the, to the next step. And I go back to my right brain and go, does this look good? Same with fat grafting, same with hair restoration, same with almost everything that I do for the face. That way, for you at the end, there's a wow. Now, interestingly enough, when I speak with a lot of my female patients, oftentimes they're, sometimes, if you can believe it, is left-brainedness when they evaluate their face. And it's not, and most men are considered left brains because they're cerebral, technical, you know, all that. And women oftentimes are thought to be right-brainedness. But when I, when they come in for their own self-evaluation, they want to be very hyper-analytical. And that means sometimes analyzing the minutiae, looking at one little part of the face, that part of the face, that's why I don't look so good, this part. And what they forget is the right side. Take a step back and go, what is there that's causing the problem overall? And it's not because a lot of my patients really are just off base. They just don't have the vocabulary to understand what's out there that they need. And for example, women oftentimes are focused on the folds. What I'm here to do is sort of pull back and go, what can I do for this face that would make it look great? And for example, when I do fat grafting, sometimes I see the cheekbones are really big. I've got to soften and blend it. I actually did that this morning on a patient. Sometimes I see that the eyes look very big. I need to soft that, soften that. Some people look very gaunt. I need to widen the face and bring it into alignment. Some people look very wide and heavy in the lower face, I need to pull that forward and bring it into alignment. So a lot of this is understanding the intimacy of the right and left brain. So the, the idea of being an artist is, is not to be overstating that and okay because I paint and I draw and illustrate. But part of it is, is the fact that I've really worked and exercised that part of my brain. A lot of what I do in my life, I really love art. I really, I'm just, there's such an incredible impact when I see beauty. And you know, it, 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 you have to work in tandem of understanding how to, to look at the world through both the left and right brain, especially if you're going to be technically accurate, you have to be very left brain. But also when you're out there and trying to make a decision, is my work satisfactory? I have to take a step back and ask myself when I've delivered a result, is there a wow? Or is it just, oh, okay, that line is better, oh, that's better. And that's not really what I'm, I'm all about. I'm about delivering results where you go, wow, that person just looks better. If there isn't a wow factor, I don't think I've done much for you. And so that's what I'm trying to, to have you understand about how I sort of perceive the world and how I approach you as a patient when you come to see me. I look forward to meeting you, meeting you when you come for consultation. Thank you.